AIS brings people and information closer together in a way that enables you to work more effectively. Today, we'll be showing you an example of how you can identify and prepare safety critical work in AIS. Imagine you need to understand where your asset is vulnerable and identify safety critical tasks that need your attention. There are a few ways to go about it. To start with, you can search for a known tag or work order you want to take care of. Alternatively, you can use our dashboard to get a more holistic overview of the work that has to be done. Here, you can see the indicators of the total volume of work orders presented against time. These include open, safety critical, and those that are overdue. Here, you can filter them. Let's say you want to display safety critical work orders that are overdue. Now, you can see your plot for the year showing against time. It's important to understand what they are and where they are. By selecting 3D, you can move to the 3D model where the work orders in question are highlighted. From here, you can use your expertise to evaluate equipment at risk and plan accordingly. For example, you can quickly recognize that this is indeed a separator, a second stage separator, and see more of its details. By hitting the info button, you can now access more information about the separator, including what system it is a part of, what documents it has, and what work it has against it. You can focus in on the separator to better view its surroundings and start to think about the work. You can see that there is indeed one work order open against the separator, and it's overdue. You can start exploring the physical space around it to see if there's anything that can constrain you from preparing the work order. By using 3D navigational tools, you can click on the model and start to build a focus around the object in question. By selecting the clipping box and fit to selection, for example, you can get a clearer view of the equipment. Expand it slightly and you'll be able to see more of the surrounding area that you need to assess when preparing the work. Now, you can see a visible walkway around the separator, and you can start evaluating if there's reasonable access to it. For that, you can add 3D objects, like virtual workers or scaffolding to the scene, to get a sense of the scale and how you're going to achieve this work. Now, it's easier to confirm that there's enough space for individuals to access the area. However, this might not be the case when it comes to fitting equipment. When extending the clipping upwards, it becomes evident that the lines and decks can prevent you from installing the equipment into the area. So we'll have to find a different way for fitting in the equipment. When assessing the spatial constraints, you can also use the measurement tool. Here, you can see that there are just under 5 meters in the walkway area. Likewise, you can assess risks associated with working at heights. The XYZ ruler allows you to measure dimensions from any point in 3D, which comes in handy when preparing scaffolding, for instance. You can visualize a basic representation of the scaffolding around the separator and clearly communicate the job with colleagues. Everything done so far has relied on the 3D model and the data available. To be sure what you're actually looking at, you can display 360 photos. You can do that in the media drawer, and the indication of where the 360 photos were taken displays directly in the model. 360 photos provide a much more immersive view of the actual environment to help you better understand the area you're working with. The virtual workers and the measurements stay overlaid. By adjusting the opacity of the photosphere, you can blend in the 3D model to gain more confidence into what you're seeing. If you find a discrepancy between the 3D model and the 360 photos, you can share this view with colleagues on site to verify. 
Having identified the equipment with its surroundings and familiarized yourself with the site in 3D, it's time to delve into the equipment's role within the process and workflows of the asset. For that, you need documentation related to the second stage separator. There are a number of related documents here. Let's have a look at the pin IDs. Some of them are indicated as smart. Here, you can select the right revision and land on the pin ID for that separator. In a world where pin IDs don't always communicate scale, it's important to have a 3D view displayed side by side. You can do this in a horizontal or vertical split view, which enables you to quickly understand the relations between 2D and 3D and arrive at insights that you wouldn't otherwise be able to make. Now, let's return to the separator in question. The first thing you notice is that all tags are hotspotted, which means that we can click on them to learn more about them. For example, you can select this gas outlet here and view all related information on the side. There's an open work order against it, and you can access everything that you need to know to start planning the work. You may want to take advantage of performing as much due work as possible during this isolation. What you can do is overlay all open work orders onto the pin ID. The indicator on the cluster icon shows you the number of work orders. You can use filtering to display only the work orders that are due until the end of this year, for example. Let's have a look at this tag here. We can see that it has two overdue work orders. One was in 2020 and the other one was in 2022. They're concerning enough for me to take them into account at the same time. So you've moved from planning to performing one job on this separator to actually performing multiple jobs at the same time and taking advantage of opportunistic maintenance. Let's continue with the isolation example. In A's, you can look at the isolation plans against the tag. In this case, a pulsation damp has an isolation plan available against it. Let's move to the relevant pin ID to understand the extended isolation first. A colleague has already created an isolation plan here. You can see the mapped out steps that are necessary to shut down the valves in red and open the ones in green. The highlighted lines show that they are depressurized. They should have your attention because you can perform additional work on these lines when working on this pulsation damp in blue. You can look closer to every step here or see a more holistic overview of the entire isolation plan. Additionally, you can now see the work orders that fall into the isolated boundary in 3D and access all related information by clicking on them. When you've investigated enough about the tag in question and the work you want to perform, you can start collaborating on this with your colleague. You can add a virtual object like you did before and perform measurements for something that you want to install. Once you have finished, you can add the scene to a collection and add relevant documents to it. Finally, you can share the collection with your colleagues to speed up work and collaborate more effectively. One of the most powerful functions in A's is your ability to search. Once you've prepared the work and communicated to your colleagues what needs to be performed, you'd like them to have a closer look at it. When searching, they can input the tag number in question and display a list of associated tag numbers. You can see that 20VA002 has brought them to the separator they need to check. They can now filter by class, system, or discipline. Alternatively, they may search directly for a work order, which in this case, if they search for the tag of the work order, it shows up in the results right away. 
if they insert the tag number directly, it will show up as well, and they can bring it up and navigate to the tag far quicker than searching in multiple source systems in order to reach the tag or the work order that has been discussed. With A's, you're able to quickly identify safety critical scope that should have already been completed. You can understand the work and the equipment in question much faster and become familiar with the site both in 2D and 3D to effectively prepare the work. This accelerates the preparation stage and ensures that the scope, which minimizes the risk and vulnerability of the asset, can be performed in good time.